It's, it's crazy. It's just like, that's a great play, man. Like, that's, that was tight. Like, I never seen it, you know? So it's, it's that. But then, like I said, it's a penalty. So I definitely hear about it. It was a penalty. I'm sure it was fun to watch for, for many, but it was definitely it was a penalty. It might have been a penalty, but we ain't taking nothing away from it. Um, come on, otherwise, come on, Brian Flores, pretty, have some fun. Pretty, yeah, pretty uninteresting game. I mean, you know, at least if, from a neutral standpoint, we'll get to the Ravens in a second. But we got, we come to give praise to Robert Hunt. Um, there are big guy touchdowns, and then there, there's that. Uh, I haven't been that impressed by a big guy touchdowns since Billy Bob took the oop de oop in for a score. In varsity blues, that, that's, that yeah. I mean that right there was I, I, that they might have unlocked something on offense. Like I don't like we knew I knew he was athletic coming out of uh, Louisiana. That's how we do it in the boot. Um, I still yeah. call it UL Lafayette, um, but just this God, is I, was, I just why didn't he report? Like oh my God! Like why were we robbed of this? He, and he did score by the way. No. He, now, yeah, yeah, he, he did. Scored. He scored. And, out, and, and hopefully that would have been challenged because he got Extend. it. He broke the plane. Extend. I mean, oh. you know what, Michael? You know what this is like? You know what this player is like? It's like college sports when they when they vacate, you know, awards or records or, or, or titles or whatever. We saw it. It happened. As far as we're concerned, Robert Hart scored a touchdown last night. We will never yeah. forget that touchdown. As long as we live, we all saw it. I don't care if it was if he, if he didn't report. Okay, he still had to make people miss. He still almost got hit. He still broke the play in the goal line. That was a touchdown. Rules be damned. Hey. Okay. Hey, you know what? In, in the tradition, that this tradition has been going on a while uh, for a while in the NFL. Let's go back a couple of generations, probably a generation, maybe even two, to William the Refrigerator Perry. Why not? Yes. Hey, hey, Miami, put him in that situation. Make him eligible. He could be your fullback. Uh, you don't. He don't have to report as eligible as a fullback, but if he could be a, he could be like Mike Vrabel, uh, a, a pass catching. Uh, you know, Vrabel was a pass catching linebacker, uh, a goal yeah. line threat. I think he was ten for ten in the red zone. So I think this could this could really happen for Miami. This, this, now you are you ready for, are you ready for some hyperbole? I am because because you know ready? who was not amused was ball. I know you know who was not amused was Baltimore. So yes, let, hit me with the hyperbole. Okay. Now this is I'm I'm exaggerating to make a point. I'm exaggerating. I'm gonna take it to the absurd okay. to get to the okay. point, and that is, the best team in the AFC could have been on the field last night. I don't know. The be, in the AFC, the best team could have been there. Maybe it was Baltimore. Maybe it was Miami. Now, clearly, <clears throat> Miami is not the best team in the AFC. But my point is, who knows? Who knows? They got about, I think, Mike, I think it's nine teams in the AFC with five wins. Mm -hmm. So there are, there are nine teams who are theoretically middle of the pack. One of those nine teams, the Kansas City Chiefs, the Browns, were a preseason favorite, a Super Bowl favorite. They got five wins. The Patriots have five. The, the Buffalo no, Bills Mike. have five. Wait, one, one, two. Look, count them for me. Bills, Patriots, Chargers, two, Raiders, three, Chiefs, four, five. No. Broncos, six. Ravens, seven. Steelers, eight. Browns, Nine. Bengals. No, I, the Ravens have more than five, though. The Ravens have more than five, so the Ravens aren't one of them, right? Oh, oh, you, oh, oh, you meant just five? Oh, okay, because because yeah, and then the I Titans. Said, there's, there's eleven with five or more. Oh, okay, okay, you no, mean I'm exactly. Saying, I'm sorry, there, I apologize. There are nine you mean the teams, number five. There are nine teams gotcha. with five okay. wins. Okay, I apologize. And so I apologize. Right. This thing is, Ravens have six. Titans have seven. Okay, so there's eleven with at least five, but nine with exactly five. I beg your pardon. My, and my I'm apologies. sitting here. And earlier this week, I'm sitting here talking about the Tennessee Titans. They didn't do anything last night. They didn't do anything wrong. They didn't play. They were watching like the rest of us. But I'm sitting yeah. here earlier talking about the Tennessee Titans, and they're the most thorough team in the AFC, which I think is true. But the most thorough doesn't necessarily mean that you're going to run through the playoffs. I don't think the AFC has one of those teams 
to fear and they've got a, only a couple of teams that you can dismiss. Now before last night, I would have put Miami in that category. I thought there was no way in the world that Baltimore was going to go there and lose to the Miami Dolphins. Not like that. On Thursday night. Not like that. I, yeah. no, not, not, like, not like anything. The, the, the one yeah. team that I just don't even pay attention to, they're just like a joke to me. Uh, those, those Houston Texans. Mm -hmm. Houston Texans are a joke. Everybody else can punch you. Everybody else well, got knockout power. The, the, truth, the truth of the matter is, other than the Jets, Texans, and they beat Jaguars, the Jaguars. Right. But other than the Dolphins, Jets, Texans, and Jaguars, everybody else can consider themselves still in it. Because beyond the 11 teams with five wins, the Colts are at four and five. So that's 12. So that leaves four teams that's, I mean, and even the Dolphins, I doubt it. But hey, they keep throwing the ball to Robert Hunt. Maybe they can go on a run. I don't know. You know, right. so it's like there's only there's only a couple of teams that are not in contention for seven playoff spots in the AFC. But what's crazy, as much as we want to look at the the, for the battle for conference supremacy and, and know that the elite teams, for the most part, reside in the NFC versus the AFC being wide open or weird, as you described it, right. it's not going to matter come February at SoFi Stadium because in a game if, if, if Josh Allen's Buffalo Bills or Patrick Mahomes is Chiefs or Lamar Jackson's Ravens or Ryan Tannehill's Titans are in the Super Bowl against Arizona or LA or Tampa Bay. You still got to like their chances. So it's a fun conversation to have about how top who's the best team in the AFC and power rankings. But when they got to when, yeah. when it matters and they got to meet for the Lombardi just one like yeah, you just, just like one, you just said yeah. what would you just say any of those teams can punch you. Yeah, they can knock you out. They got knockout power. 